Did you know that in SpyFu you can dig down not only into a domain, but a subdomain, or a path, any part of a URL, right down to the page itself? And on the individual pages, you get detailed information about what keywords they're ranked on Google, how many clicks they're getting, what those clicks are worth in AdWords, what similar articles are on their site, what relevant content is on their social networks, how much it's all been shared, liked, tweeted, pinned, and more. At first it might seem like, hey, yeah, you can dig deep into stuff. Who cares? You care. Or at least you will. Because it's not just about digging into a site, it's about finding the internal cogs that make a site tick, the sections that are most successful, the content that's most relevant to customers, people who should be your customers. SpyFu reveals proven content plans in ways you haven't even thought of. Would you like to know these super cool ways? Come with me on an adventure in the making as I teach you the art of spy foolery. One of the hardest parts of building content is figuring out what to write about, what's going to deliver the right traffic, what's going to be relevant to my potential customers. Writer's block can be a ravenous beast, and writing up a solid spec for outsourcing can be an absolute pain. This is how to eliminate these struggles. Find a website you'd like to emulate. Whether it's your direct competitor or just a site that's ranking on keywords you'd like to snag. If you can't think of any competitors off the top of your head, you can always enter in your domain into spyfu.com and then scroll down to top organic competitors to find some businesses who are encroaching on your space. I'm going to use lifehappens.org as an example. This site helps people understand different types of life insurance. They don't have any AdWords presence at all, but they're getting an estimated $110,000 in value from their SEO clicks. They're clearly doing something right on the SEO side. There's traffic to be had there, and I'd like to funnel some of that into my site. They're ranking on some pretty good, pretty standard keywords about life insurance. If I'm a smaller company who sells life insurance, some of these short tail keywords might be difficult to rank on. For the time being, I'd like to focus on lower hanging fruit, more specific pages with potentially longer tailed, less search for keywords. So I'm going to filter these results for something called permanent insurance. This leads me to a more specific URL. Let's take a quick journey off of SpyFu to the wonderful wide web. To do that, I'm going to click on this external link icon. This brings me to their specific full page article about permanent insurance, and it looks pretty good. When you see gems like these from around the web, feel free to copy and paste the URL into SpyFu to see how it's performing. Even a blind squirrel writes a successful article from time to time. Both small and large domains might have content worth replicating. And gadzooks, this is no exception. With 166 keywords and an estimated SEO value of $2,000 a month, this is the exact kind of traction I want for my site because we sell permanent insurance and we're spending a bunch of money on AdWords for some of these exact same keywords. Just a one-time boost on the SEO end and we can pull back spending in AdWords, saving us a lot of money over a long period of time. Quick side note, I didn't enter in this website and its URLs ahead of time in order for SpyFu to start tracking data on it for this video. It's already there. So what now? I know what content they wrote, I know what keywords they targeted, and I know what it's all worth. How do I turn the tables and make this mine? It's pretty simple. Adapt and rewrite the content. Tell your writers to take this content, its structure, specific keywords and information, and rewrite it for your company. Change and update any outdated information or screenshots, adjust the voice to fit your company, and write essentially the same article for your site. Even though this article is getting some great SEO traction, I feel like it could use some work. First off, it's 1400 words long. That's pretty lengthy for a single topic. Length and quality don't always go hand in hand, but cost and length do. You could probably maintain or improve the quality of this content, but reduce the amount of words used, making the post easier for the customer to read and more affordable for you to contract. Also, when rewriting a piece of content, it's best to find multiple sources and combine them. In this regard, SpyFu has you covered. Click on the competing pages tab. Here, you'll find similar content from competing sites that have overlapping keywords with this article. 
Combining the best elements from multiple articles is the best way to create a new, more robust piece of content. Looks like there's some State Farm, some Wikipedia, Liberty Mutual, MetLife. It's a content cornucopia. And it looks like these articles are quite successful as well. Even for companies whose main goal is to sell insurance, not simply inform. Normally, when I'm looking for good pieces of content, I gravitate towards articles with more social love. Likes, tweets, shares, pins, etc. But this is more difficult to find on sites that are trying to sell you something, rather than purely informational sites like lifehappens.org. But since I'm also a site that's trying to sell you something, it's not a bad idea to emulate a little bit of both. Since I already have my social article, I'm I'm going to look for something with a higher volume of ranked keywords and a high SEO value. And State Farm's 141,000 a month SEO value is... Yep. Yippers. That works for me. So I have two articles here. That's a good amount for a writer to merge. Be sure to include the keywords that you want. Make a piece of new content greater than the sum of its parts. Or better yet, use this opportunity to create five or ten pieces of content. Absolutely swamp your blog with definitions and pieces of advice based around permanent insurance. Own the space. And rest assured, this isn't all that expensive to do. Writer Access, Text Broker, and other quality sites have talented content writers that do this kind of thing all the time. You can get decent articles written for $10 a pop, which is perfectly great if you're just trying to saturate the market. Getting the absolute top writers to write articles of this length, again, 1400 words, is still only about a hundred bucks. So, you have options. Writing a spec for these content creators is also super easy. Simply lay out what you want them to do. 1. Take the content found on these linked URLs. 2. Create an article based around these pieces of content, a brand new article taking the same approach. 3. The article will be published to patricksawesomeinsurance.com. 4. Target audience, financially stable, middle class, men and women with children. Bam. Dunsville. You'll have quality content dominating your site in no time, with relatively very little work on your part. Just to feed you a slice of perspective pie, all of this was based off of one single piece of content and its competing pages. Imagine scanning other articles from Life Happens and other pages that you respect. Hundreds of articles, potentially creating thousands of new ones. It's an absolute treasure trove of content inspiration and keywords. No more writer's block for in-house writers. Spec's now easy to lay out for outsourcing. Successful, relevant content building for your site is now streamlined through SpyFu's URL page. But there are more ways to own the space on Google. With social networks dominating the market, both in interaction and on the SERP results, it's more important than ever to find and track how your social accounts and your competitors' accounts are performing on an SEO plane. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use the URL page to discover and leverage that information for yourself. Thank you for watching.